It's so ridiculously thick. This is a really, really thick book on mathematics. It's called University Mathematics, and it was written by Robert C. James. So this book is a book that someone left a comment about in the channel a while ago, and I went online, I searched for it, and I bought it, and I'm glad I did. This book contains tons of mathematics. It basically has what claims to be the first two years of college level mathematics, but wait till you see all the math in this book. I feel like if you can learn all the math in this book in the first two years of a college education, then you've learned a lot of mathematics. Let's take a look at the inside of the dust jacket. I love dust jackets. This is a book of exceptionally high caliber reflecting the current trends in mathematics. Modern methods and concepts are used to present a careful and complete treatment of analytic geometry and calculus. Here we go, especially designed for the above average student. This thoroughly integrated text provides a unified course that covers the first two years of college mathematics. So you get tons of math in this thick book. University Mathematics, Robert C. Davis, Harvey Mudd College. And this is by Wadsworth Publishing Company, Inc., Belmont, California. I actually like books by this publishing company. They seem to be very elegant. They come with fancy dust jackets. A lot of the 80s books uh, from Wadsworth are just very nicely designed. This one is not from the 80s. It's from 1963. That was a long time ago. I want to mention that this book is a textbook. So I've read parts of it and it does take some work. It's not like a super easy book to read. You can't just like buy this book and magically absorb all the information. Although I'm going to try right now, I'm just going to give it a whiff. Oh, I have become a university mathematics master. The contents of this book are really what set it apart from other math books. This is a very unique book and there aren't many like it. I think the closest thing to this book uh, might be books that cover like engineering mathematics because they have a lot of varied topics. This is kind of like that. So it starts with an introduction to calculus and it does it pretty quickly. You can see it doesn't uh, do it in so many pages. And then this is really interesting. Look at this, it does sets and logic, right? So that's cool, relations, functions, Switching circuits, formal logic. Oh, I'm sorry, I just have to smell it. This book just has an incredible odor. Oh, it smells so amazing. Intuitive logic and probability, numbers, continuity and limits, geometric concepts. Then over here we have area and integration, transcendental functions, and it just keeps going and it keeps going. I mean, you just have so much content in this book. Then you've got partial derivatives, vectors and curves, convergence, and here's where it gets interesting. Look at this linear processes. That's right, you get a taste of linear algebra. So basically you've got some calculus, you've got some set theory, you've got some linear algebra, and then here you have some multivariable stuff, including Stokes theorem and the divergence theorem. And here you see it says answers. So the book actually does have answers. And from what I have seen, uh, from the exercises that I've looked at, it has answers to every single problem. Now the only exception to that that I have found so far is that uh, sometimes some are omitted. So that could be because they're proofs or the problems are a little bit different, but you can see most of the time, it seems like it has answers to every problem. Also, there are supplementary exercises. Here you see that you don't get all the answers to all the supplementary ones, but it's a decent amount of answers. So I would say answers to almost everything. And yeah, to me, that makes it a decent book to own and add to your collection. I think a good college student or just a good self learner could buy this book and start learning. So like if you know some mathematics, you could jump into this right away. For example, here, these are the exercises in the very first section and you see they just want the average velocity. So that's really easy. That's something you do in a basic Calc 1 class, right? It's not hard. You just use the formula. And you know, here they give you examples so you can see how it works. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, I think most people who know some decent algebra can buy this book, pick it up and start learning. But I've read parts of this book and you know, you do have to read it carefully, right? You have to sit down with, with a pencil and like grind through it. It does take time. So like it might take you, you know, a couple hours to, or maybe an hour to get through two or three pages, you know, or uh, you know, a few hours to get through uh, an entire section and do a couple exercises. I think that's really normal. That's, that's a really normal thing. And I think that's something that people don't really um, talk about too much when it comes to math. It's the amount of time it takes. It takes an incredible amount of time to actually do mathematics and read mathematics and learn mathematics. And that's because it's so difficult, right? I think it's hard for everyone. This is really, really cool. Let me just quickly show you this. So if you've had some calculus, you might be able to understand this, but this is something from differential equations. Basically we have 
this differential equation here, Legendre's differential equation, and they're solving it by plugging in a power series into the differential equation. And this is something you learn when you study differential equations. I actually have a few videos on this, but not many. And the reason I don't have many is because problems like this, if I make a video, it'll take me like half an hour to work out the problem. And it just takes a long time, right? It goes back to what I was saying. Mathematics takes so much time. So here you solve this recurrence relation. And then over here, it looks like they are continuing the solution. Yeah, really, really cool, right? They plug it back into the power series and you go from there. Here you get the legend, Legendre polynomials from that. So yeah, just a, a really interesting derivation and you get stuff like that throughout the entire book because it has so much content. So I don't know, I don't know how easy this book is to get. I know that I paid some money for this book. Like it wasn't like, I mean all books cost money, but what I mean by that is like, it wasn't like $10, like I had to pay a significant amount and I think I paid a little bit more because my copy has this dust jacket. Let's take it off so we can see what it looks like. This is really cool. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, this is fun. This is really fun. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let me just take it off here. There it is without the dust jacket, the thickest book ever. It is absurdly thick, isn't it? What a thick little math book. Yeah, it's gotta give it another whiff here. Ah, oh, amazing, amazing, amazing. So who is this book for? I would say it's for anyone who wants a math book that they can kind of just pick up and sit down and start working through. And it's gonna keep you entertained because it has a lot of different topics. It kind of reminds me of um, like Kreisig's, you know, engineering mathematics book where it has like lots of topics and it's broken down quite nicely. So I think this is an excellent book. Um, and if you think that you're gonna ever sit down with this book and read it, then I think it's worth it because you'll learn some stuff and it's an experience, right? That's what life is about, having experiences, learning, growing, and this thick book will definitely help you grow. I mean, look at that. What a chunky little book. It has stuff that you can use for your other classes too. For example, here it talks about uniform continuity. If you were to take an advanced calculus class, AKA real analysis, you would see this stuff. And you have examples in this book that help illustrate uniform continuity. So very valuable asset, this book, because you can use it for so many courses, right? So since it covers stuff like this, you can use it for analysis. Since it covers linear algebra, you can use it as a supplement to linear algebra. It covers all of calculus, including Stokes and divergence theorem. So you can use it as a supplement for all your calculus classes. Just fantastic. I think the only con of this book might be the price. I don't know how much it costs and I don't know if it's available. So the availability could be another possible con. I will try to leave links in the description to any copies I can find on the internet in case you want to pick one up. But yeah, it's just a nice interesting book and I wanted to make this video to show everyone because it's pretty cool, right? It's a book that covers just mathematics. It's, a, it's, a, it's like a math book, but it's not meant for any particular class, which is, which is kind of interesting, right? I, I think it's done that way on purpose so that anyone who's teaching, you know, maybe calculus or analysis or linear algebra can say, hey, you know, read, read parts of this book. You know, you can fall back on this book to learn some of that knowledge. I really like that it has a section on formal logic. So if you go to college and you study, let's say computer science, you have to take a discrete math class. And in that discrete math class, you'll learn a lot of the stuff that's in this book. You'll learn all this logic stuff. Also, if you're a math major, you will take a course where you learn to write proofs. So all of this stuff here, all of this logic stuff you see here, you're gonna see this and you're gonna learn this, right? So like here, for example, they're doing a negation, that little twiddle thing, that, that's a negation symbol. So you're negating a for all. And so when you do that, when you negate like, you know, for all f of x, like when you negate a statement like this, that's equivalent to saying there exists an x such that that's false, right? So that's very useful because if you have like, for example, say the definition of a limit, you know, like, you know, the limit of f of x as x approaches a, is equal to L, right? There's a definition there involving deltas and epsilons. And if you wanted to negate that, right? That, that definition starts with for all epsilon. So you have to know this and you have to know how to fully negate it. And that's what they're trying to explain here. And I think that's really, really important because that comes up in actual mathematics. So a lot of people like logic and they study logic for the sake of studying logic. And I think that's good, but I, I try to think of logic as more of a tool and having a strong understanding 
of how to negate statements and how to work with quantifiers is a very powerful tool that can help take your mathematics to the next level. And I don't wanna harp on this forever, but I really wanna emphasize that logic is important. So if you're watching this video and you don't know logic, learn some logic, right? Um, I think the book by Velman, it's called How to Prove It, is probably one of the best books for learning to write proofs. It's gonna be better than this one if you wanna learn to write proofs. And if I, if I remember, I will leave a link uh, in the description. And I'm harping on it because even in grad school, I'm remembering moments where I, when I was in grad school and I'm sitting there at the kitchen table, like, you know, with the pencil and like, I've got all my papers out and I'm just like struggling. And I'm just struggling to negate because I don't understand the logic. And so I had to go back and like revisit my logic because a lot of times you have like, you know, a lot of for all statements in the same statement. You've got, you know, a there exists and it just makes it really tricky to think through everything logically. So you really gotta have a strong understanding of logic. Vectors and parametric equations, so much mathematics, right? We can spend all day uh, looking at all of the math in this book. This is really important. Parametric equations are something that, at least in the US, um, let's see, when I've taught trigonometry, I've taught them there. So you teach people simple parametric equations like parametric equations for a circle, for an ellipse, for a hyperbola, for a line. I think those are like the really important ones. And when you study calculus two, at least in the US and calc two, you do calculus with parametric equations. So you know, there's the calculus of, of parametric equations, which is very, very powerful. And that's in this book as well, right? Everything is in this book. It's completely ridiculous. Anyways, so there it is, University Mathematics by Robert C. James. This is a standard textbook. It's a solid book and it's not really meant for any particular course. As you can see, Robert C. James uh, indicated that it, it's supposed to cover the first two years of college level mathematics, right? But you saw how much math was in here. I was a math major, right? I studied math for a long time. I was in school forever. And let me tell you, most people don't know all this stuff. There's a lot of it. Most, you know, most teachers don't know all this stuff. I don't know all this stuff. There's a lot of stuff in here. Most of the stuff, I can look at stuff in here and say, oh yeah, one-to-one -one linear transformations, duh. But, you know, if I get into it and I start doing problems, I still have to think, I still struggle, you know? So everyone learns, everyone struggles. And yeah, it's a good textbook. It's got answers to seemingly every problem. Most of the supplementary exercises have answers and then the regular exercises, it seems like you have answers to all of them. And I think it's good for self-study. If you can find it, get it. I will try to find it for you. Also, before I forget, if you are watching this video and you are not a subscriber to my channel, consider subscribing. Uh, so I hear on this channel, I post uh, book reviews and uh, other types of videos. I just post all kinds of stuff, but it's mostly math, physics, computer science. It's mostly centered around learning. I hope this video has been enjoyable and helpful. It's a good book. If you can get it, get it. I hope it's been helpful. Take care.